Okay, girls, we're going to talk about how to graph inequalities. So far, we've been solving inequalities. We've learned the uh, reverse inequality sign and that rule, whenever you're multiplying or dividing by a negative. I'll give you a bunch of examples. I posted the answer keys. Now we're going to talk about how to graph this one. So this is the very first question off of the first uh, solving linear equation sheet I gave you. W plus 8 is greater than 10, and then we go through the steps and we solve it. So W is greater than 2. So there's two different symbols we use here. I'll just show you here. We're going to use an open circle. This is going to be used for the symbols less than or greater than. If the symbol is going to be filled in, so it kind of looks like a period, that's going to be used for less than or equal to or greater than or equal to. So I provided two examples here. So w greater than 2. So that means we find 2 on our number line. And we put an open circle. And we're just going to put an arrow all the way out. Because the solution could be anything as long as it's greater than 2. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, all the way out. That's why we show a a uh, arrow at the end because it goes on forever. Okay, so it doesn't have the equal to sign, so it's a simple open circle, just like this. The next example is n plus 8 is less than or equal to 9. So we solve the inequality, n is less than or equal to 1. So we find 1 on our number line. And we have to do a closed in dot. And because it's less than, it's going to go all the way to the left. Okay, so this indicates that it does include the number 1 and anything smaller than 1. Up here, this doesn't include the number 2. So 3, 4, 5, and so on and so forth. So I'm going to write out an assignment of ones I want you to graph, and you'll graph them, and then I'll post the answers for that as well. Okie dokie. Okay, so either an open circle with an arrow, a closed circle with an arrow, and these are the symbols for the respective circles. I'll talk to you soon.